Although it's the last day of winter, the temperature is more like a summer's day. And so, I'll have a walk down the beach and try some HF pedestrian mobile. This time, I'll try the higher bands, 20 through to 10 metres, and go down to 40 only if there's no activity on the higher bands. Okay, so the audio is 5 and uh, signal strength 5, so not too bad out of a, uh, out of a mobile uh, up to VK3YE, VK2DL. Just one contact with VK2 on 20 metres. However, I did check into the Anzanet and was able to be copied by several stations, including one in Italy. Victor Kilo 3, Yankee Echo Mobile. Victor Kilo 6, Lima Charlie. Now, give me a 5 and 5 to 5 and 6 with me. Operating from Mount Bichon here. The X-Nets are a mixed blessing. I have achieved some contacts pedestrian mobile with them, but because of the number of stations involved, you could walk several kilometres along the beach before it's your turn again to transmit. You may be better and more productive to be scanning the band yourself and calling stations who are calling CQ. The beach I live near is on the eastern shore of Port Phillip Bay. Port Phillip Bay is near circular and about 60 to 80 kilometres from one side to the other. Looking to the southwest are the heads through which all shipping must pass to get to Melbourne. About three kilometres south along the beach is the mouth of the Patterson River. There's a canal development further to the east and it's a busy shipping channel for pleasure boats. We're now south of the mouth of the Patterson River and are now looking north towards the city. Newly installed is this boardwalk. With seating and a ground connection for a low band HF antenna, it should be a good DX spot. I've been walking along the beach for about 60 or 90 minutes, so it's pretty hard going. Halfway between Karam and Seaford is another pier. It's fairly short, but it's got metal along the sides, which could make it a useful ground plane. I've operated from here previously on 160 metres. Bye. 
It's 5.30 p.m. local time and about half an hour before sunset. Three hours later, I've made the trip from Chelsea to Seaford. I initially thought the 10 metres would be the go, but apart from a strong American station and a few other carrier signals, nothing much was heard. I went down to 12, 15 and 17, but again, not much doing. All the action was on 20 metres, and it was crowded and busy with a lot of QRM. It was hard going at first, but as we got towards sunset, propagation improved, and some stations heard me even on my first call. Overall it was a successful outing, with around 5 or 6 Europeans worked, pedestrian mobile running 5 watts, to this magnetic loop antenna.